Thank God I don't have to sit on that weirdo's lap at the mall. Like, I'll tell you guys a quick, uh, I'll tell you a quick childhood story. I'll tell you one of the funnier ones, right? One time, when I was like six, my older brother was eight. We were in the back seat of my dad's car, and we were like laughing, and we were excited because it was around Christmas, right? And my dad just had this thing. He, he, he just didn't like joy, you know? <laughs> So he's sitting there driving, he's going like, Jesus Christ, knock it off back there! Christ, you're giggling like a couple of little schoolgirls! Christ, you don't straighten up, I'm gonna buy you a doll for Christmas! And then he did. <laughs> I swear to God, he made us hold him up. My mother's taking pictures in front of the Christmas tree. I'm just standing there like, hey, hey. Afterwards, I ran upstairs to my top bunk. My dad knew he fucked up, to his credit. He came up, he tried to smooth it over. He's like, all right, come on back down. It's over, come on down, enjoy the holiday. And I'm like, no, I don't want any gifts, I fucking hate you. Right? He eventually coaxed me down, you know? He just, he softened up a little bit. Look, you don't get your fucking ass back downstairs. No one else can open that gift, I'm moving out. I said moving out. I go back downstairs all shell-shocked. Here's another gift for you, Billy. I'm like, is this a fucking dollhouse? When does it end? <laughs> yeah, that was Christmas, and those were people that loved me. <laughs> it's hard to talk about this stuff without coming off too angry. I don't want to come off angry or anti-man. I'm not. I'm engaged to a man. I'm going to marry a man. I mean, we'll see. I love him very much, but when we talk about this stuff, sometimes the conversations get awkward because he hasn't had a lot of trauma in his life. We have a very different definition of the concept of trauma, and sometimes it makes our conversations weird. One time we were talking about bad things that had happened to us in our childhoods, and I'm going on and on and on and on and on and on. He cuts me off. He goes, you know, something really messed up happened to me when I was five. And I was like, oh my God, baby, what happened? He goes, when I was five, I woke up on Christmas Eve and I saw my dad wrapping gifts. <laughs> and I was like, and then he fucked you! He was like, that's when I found out there's no Santa Claus. Um, I was like, oh, okay, oh, that's, that's your definition of struggle? You thought one guy was giving you presents and then you found out another guy was giving you the exact same presents? You realize girls are thrilled when we find out there's no Santa Claus. We're like, oh, thank God I don't have to sit on that weirdo's lap at the mall. I always thought that was sketchy.